Now, and the ever-present forktail drongos. This is the little bird I was mentioning earlier that could be what sounds like a squeaky wheel around by Gary Dam. Those little blackbirds. I say it's quite funny. I've not, I've not seen them sitting on the animals here, but on my old reserve, you used to find them sitting on wildebeest and the impala, and almost like a bit like an oxpecker. And maybe it was because of the lack of the oxpeckers. Maybe that's what it is. It just suddenly dawned on me. Maybe the oxpeckers become quite territorial over the animals. Maybe they get chased off. So to say, we didn't have many oxpeckers in that area, if, if any. I think there was one, one or two pairs. We very rarely saw them. But there was a lot of drongos. And they don't really go for the ticks. If there's one that they happen to see, they might just pick it off. But really what they're, they're looking out for is any insects disturbed by the animal they're on. And it could be that they were sitting on the animals just so they don't have to waste energy flying around. But maybe that's what it is. There's a lot of oxpeckers here. And maybe if a forktail drongo has ever tried to sit on an animal, they might chase them off. So they have to wait and sit on and wait for the animals to move and so especially during the, the winter time you'll often find the drongos following vehicles and people on foot I like it when a light bulb goes on it's like a bing eureka moment I think the giraffes are really enjoying all the new vegetation on their acacias, on those acacias. Okay, we are losing light fairly rapidly, and I